welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing to the page if you enjoy this sort of content. And so I received a request this week for my settings with streaming and it's something that it's been a lot of trial and error over the last couple of months and I'm in no way a professional and so it's just something I'm learning as I go but I'm glad to share what my settings are in hopes that it might help you if you're trying to get up and running with streaming. Uh, so this is called Stream Elements and you can find it by going to streamelements.com and then you would connect either your Twitch, YouTube, Facebook gaming account to it. Then it would take you to this dashboard here where you would be able to select and see things like your activity feed where it will show like a follower for example or a recent subscriber to your channel. Then your dashboard would give you some statistics about your channel like new followers or who was maybe watching the stream and watch time things like that. And then another good thing is OBS Live. And that's so OBS Live you know, you, you get to have your chat and your activity, or rather your chat, your activity feed, and you can rearrange these things as you want. And so I find that to be really nice. And then you set your scenes up at the bottom. It's very similar to the standard OBS and it updates in the same way. The other cool thing is that Stream Elements is web-based and so it handles some of the encoding and um, just offsets a little bit from your PC if you're using a single PC setup like I am. And so I'm, I've, I've been interested in streaming like FPS games. I play a lot of Apex Legends. And um, but lately, I, I, this week I was playing Resident Evil 2. And so this will all work well if you just have a single PC setup. I have a Ryzen 5 3600 uh, CPU and a Sapphire Nitro Plus 5700 XT GPU. And so once you get OBS downloaded on your computer, uh, you'll be able to sign into your Stream Elements account. <coughs> Excuse me, you'll be able to sign into your Stream Elements account on OBS, uh, Stream Elements OBS Live, and then you'll see your dashboard like this. The cool thing about this program is that there's a lot of uh, free themes for you to use. I'm, I'm not paying for any of this. And so you, you could pick through here, this animated themes, or um, just static themes. I'm just using a static theme currently. Uh, this one right here, gray area. Let's see, right there. Sorry, my webcam covered it up. But you could preview and, and see. There's lots of different options. Let's see, so. Here's like a Fall Guys theme. See, it has some cool animations and stuff like that. Fall Guys is your thing or something, you know, they have pretty cool themes that you could add right to your uh, to your page and it's very simple to set up. So once you select your overlay, you'll go in here and you could edit it within Stream Elements. So that is kind of a quirk, you know, because you can't really edit it on the fly in OBS. You would have to pull up this web page, make whatever adjustments, and then click save and the web address in OBS is going to update automatically after you hit save here and so then you'll see the changes in OBS so that's one thing to keep in mind um, so I'm going to hide my preview for a second but what I'm talking about here is let's see display capture on it browser so you'll get a unique link that you could put in and it'll display your theme so you'll get a link for each of your pages i have it separated into gameplay starting soon be right back stream ending and chatting and so to create a new scene just hit that plus sign here and you'll create a scene and then within the scene is where you add these different sources and so the browser is one so that's the one that has like my stream element theme uh, video capture device this is my um, webcam and then display capture is just my computer screen 
and capture card. I don't always use capture card. This is just for my um, Elgato if I'm playing like a Nintendo Switch game or something like that. And so you can go into all these settings and adjust them as needed. You just go to properties and you can update them on the fly. And then within that you have the audio mixer. And so here's my microphone. You can see it running. I have my video capture device. This is my webcam because it also has a microphone built into it. So I have to make sure to mute that because I'm using a USB microphone. And then my capture card is muted. Um, not too important, but it's, it's not even plugged in right now. But this is my desktop audio that would be coming from my game or my speakers or something, you know, whatever I'm playing on my PC. So here, like I said before, you would click save and then that will carry over to OBS. Um, you could set up things like tipping. Let's see, I'm gonna enable my preview again. Uh, you can set up things like tipping, you can have a chat bot and different modules and spam filters and stuff like that you can add to your stream. So I find stream elements to be perfect for me, but there might be something else out there that works better for you. Uh, so next I wanted to, let's see, see this is why I was not enabling my preview because it looks like I'm in the matrix. Okay, so let's hide this again. And go to settings. All right, so here are the settings that I have for my channel. Uh, a lot of this I didn't update or really need to update, but I'll just go down it and double check. Yeah, this all, I don't think I changed at all in the stream. I'm using Restream at the, at the moment. It's another web-based service where you plug in your channel information to Restream, like YouTube and Twitch or Facebook uh, gaming, things like that. And then Restream gives you a stream key to use in OBS. It doesn't have to be that complicated. If you don't want to stream to multiple platforms, you pick, you know, YouTube, YouTube gaming, Twitch, Facebook Live, whichever location you want to stream to. And then just select get stream key and it will take you to the appropriate page where you would find your key. It's very unique to your page. Put it in here and select apply. Um, let's see, so for streaming, I'm currently in my Twitch profile, but here you would select your certain preset. I am streaming from my graphics card. I'm using the AMD encoder on the Ryzen 5700, um, RX 5700 XT. And so uh, you might wanna adjust those settings and see what works best for your setup, but this is what works well for me. I did try the CPU and that's okay, but uh, I was just trying to take a little bit of that weight off of the CPU um, and seeing how well it works. And it's been fine up to this point. So I'm using the AMD encoder. I'm using uh, 1280 by 720 with the Twitch stream preset, but you could select YouTube streaming if that's where you're going to be. And uh, I use the quality preset with the constant bitrate, CBR, prepass mode disabled. Uh, 4500 is the bitrate I use for Twitch. Once you become like an affiliate or um, partner, you can use higher bit rates and stream at higher resolutions, but this is fine for now. You know, if you're just getting into this, I would recommend just try to get a solid 720, 60 frame per second stream, especially with like an FPS game with a lot of things moving on the stream, uh, on the screen rather. And so if you can achieve that, then uh, you can just kind of build from there. And so let's see, keyframe interval two, view mode is basic. And let's go to audio. I'm using 48 kilohertz stereo. This is something that you would just adjust as your preferences need. Um, I have my desktop audio and my microphone audio all going to the USB microphone. I, there's a headphone jack on it that allows me to plug my earbuds in and then I could hear my game while I'm talking the mic. There, there might be a different setup that works well for you, but I figured I would just mention this here. Don't have any of these hotkeys set up, but there's different things that you could adjust. 
let's see video I currently have it at 1920 by 1080 and my output to 1080 just for the sake of this video but generally my output is 9, uh, 720p that's where you'd have uh, 720 right here 60 frames per second and Lanzos um, sharpened scaling 36 samples that's what works at least for me for now uh, hotkeys I don't have a ton of these set up but there is something that I found really useful so this is where you'll see your scenes and switching to scenes I don't have a stream deck and if you don't have one that's okay because you could do this as an alternative I currently have these bound to my function keys but if you have like a numpad or somewhere else on your keyboard with extra keys that you're not using in game you can um, use this to switch scenes so for example if I'm playing and I have an interruption at the house and I need to maybe take a phone call or a text or something I can switch to uh, be right back scene just hitting F3 on my keyboard and it won't uh, mess up my gameplay or anything so I have my function keys bound to the different scene selection and it, it works well advanced I have process priority as normal um, I don't think I really adjusted any of this stuff so I'll cancel out of that and that about covers the basics here um, I'm gonna enable the preview again but I, I, yeah, I hope this will help you, at least if you're trying to get up and running and uh, just needed a, a, a place to start or if you have this type of setup with the Ryzen CPU and um, the AMD GPU. Uh, this, you know, streaming from the GPU has worked well for me. And so I, I, I hope this could be of benefit. If it is any uh, help, you know, let me know in the comments below or if you have additional questions or concerns, I'll be glad to try to help you as best as I can. And um, I do stream on YouTube and Twitch. I've streamed a little on Facebook Gaming, so it would help me if you drop a follow or a like or whichever one of those pages um, you frequent, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Any way that I can see some support from you would be a uh, of huge benefit so thanks for watching uh, let me know again in the comments if you have any questions or concerns and um, we'll see you on the next one have a great day